top 10 most dangerous sea creatures in the world. While many divers are afraid of sharks, such as the great white, tiger shark, and bull shark, although sharks are extremely rare, divers must be aware that some of the smallest and even most attractive creatures in the ocean and seas can be dangerous. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are going to go over the top 10 most dangerous sea creatures in the world, so without further ado, let's get into it. Number 10. Lionfish Lionfish are native to the Indo-Pacific, but they have spread to the United States' southeast coast, the Caribbean, and areas of the Gulf of Mexico. They have few predators since they are not native to Atlantic waters. They are carnivores that eat small crustaceans and fish, including the young of commercially valuable fish species like snapper and grouper. Lionfish can appear to be attractive, but don't be fooled by their attractive appearance. To put it another way, these animals have spines that won't kill you, but contain venom that's so painful that it'll make you wish you were dead. The good news for divers is that lionfish just use their venomous stings to defend themselves. They won't lie in wait to poke you. Number 9. Sea Snakes Sea snakes, also known as coral reef snakes, are venomous illipid snakes that spend the majority of their lives in marine environments. Sea snakes are made up of around 30 to 50 different species that can be found in the tropical waters of the Pacific and Indian Oceans. These snake-like creatures are from the cobra family and can grow to be 2 meters long on average. Sea snakes are not dangerous creatures, but their extremely poisonous venom has propelled them to the top of our list. Just three drops of their venom can kill up to eight people. Even though sea snakes are likely to hide from humans, it is suggested to avoid getting too close to these guys. Number 8. Cone Snail Snails are unlikely to come to mind when considering the most dangerous sea animals. That is why number 8 on our list can surprise you. Cone snails are only 10 to 15 centimeters long and appear to be harmless but a single drop of their venom is said to be enough to kill 20 men. If you are a serious shell collector, we suggest that you treat these guys with caution. Cone snails aren't aggressive chasers, but rather harpoon their prey with hollow teeth and inject deadly venom into them. Cone snails can be found in deep reef waters from the Indian and Pacific Oceans to the Caribbean and Red Seas, as well as along the Florida coast. Although those found in the Indo-Pacific appear to have more poisonous toxin than others, it is not recommended to try your luck with these creatures. These creatures are also nicknamed the cigarette snail, which comes from the fact that after a sting, you'll have just enough time to smoke a cigarette before you die. Number 7. Stingrays Did you know what kind of predator killed the world-famous crocodile hunter Steve Irwin off the coast of Australia in 2006? The cold-blooded killer was an Australian bull ray, one of the largest species of stingrays and ranked 7th on our list today. Stingrays are typically found in temperate seas, shallow coast waters. They spend the rest of their time dormant, partially covered in the sand and mostly shifting only with the tide. The stingray's coloration also reflects the shading of the sea floor, concealing it from predatory sharks and larger rays. Their flattened bodies are made up of pectoral fins that are attached to their head and trunk, with an infamous tail trailing behind. But don't worry, the chances of being bitten by a stingray are low. Number 6. The Great Barracuda How many of you have heard horror stories about a nearly 2 meter long sharp-toothed barracuda leaping out of the water and seriously injuring unsuspecting boat passengers? There are no flying killer fish, but the great barracuda, number six on our list, has been known to attack humans. The presence of these creatures, however, is likely to make you wary. The great barracuda have a body shaped like a torpedo and two rows of razor-sharp teeth. Furthermore, the flesh of great barracudas can contain toxin, which can cause severe symptoms ranging from vomiting to leg weakness, and those symptoms can last for more than three months. To make you feel better, these attacks are very rare and occur. Number 5. Flower Urchin Flower urchin is a common and widespread species of sea urchin found in the Indo-West Pacific. Flower urchin has been called the world's most dangerous sea urchin by the Guinness Book of Records and for good reason. The sharp and highly venomous spines of the flower urchin make it the type of creature you don't want to step on 
flower urchins are in a league of their own when it comes to painful defense mechanisms, as you might have discovered the hard way when standing on a sea urchin. Unlike other sea urchins, the stings of these species can not only cause excruciating pain, but they can also cause paralysis, which can lead to death. Number 4. Stonefish Stonefish are masters of camouflage, blending in so well to their surroundings that their prey, predators, and even scuba divers have difficulty spotting them. The stonefish is a strange-looking creature that is also regarded as the world's most venomous fish. Do you know that stonefish are related to scorpion fishes? Stonefishes may not be more than 30 to 40 centimeters long, but they are living proof that you don't have to be big to be a threat. The stonefish's dorsal fin spines will inject venom capable of killing an adult human in less than an hour. Their venom can cause intense pain, temporary paralysis, and even heart failure. In nature, the stonefish uses its venom to escape predation rather than to capture prey. Number 3. Blue Ringed Octopus Do you know what kind of creature weighs just about 30 grams but contains enough poison to kill more than 20 humans? The third creature on our list is the small but lethal blue ringed octopus, whose paralyzing venom is 1200 times more potent than cyanide, a creature you don't want to mess with. The good news is that these animals don't want to mess with you either. They avoid human contact and only eject venom when provoked or stepped on. There's no good cure for the venom, so the only remedy is to treat the symptoms before the venom wears off, which usually takes 24 hours. That should be enough to deter us from going after these creatures. Number 2. Saltwater Crocodile The saltwater crocodile unsurprisingly takes the second spot on our list, killing two people a year on average. They have been dubbed Australia's most dangerous species, quite a feat given that we're talking about a continent notorious for its lethal fauna. Saltwater crocodiles are the world's largest crocodilians, weighing up to 1,200 kilograms, and with their size comes lethal power. The saltwater crocodile has the world's most powerful bite, and its jaw is 10 times stronger than the great white sharks. Unlike other predators on our list, saltwater crocodiles are murderous on both land and sea. They may not be as swift on land as some horror stories suggest, but they can swoop down and strike faster than we poor humans can respond. Number 1. Chironix Box Jellyfish The most deadly sea creature on our list does not have rows of razor-sharp teeth or even a visible mouth, but it has killed more people in Australia than snakes, sharks, and saltwater crocodiles combined. These creatures are translucent and light blue in color, making them almost invisible. It took a long time before anyone knew what was causing such agonizing pain to unsuspecting swimmers and divers. One box jellyfish contains enough venom to destroy up to 60 people, and their venom speed of action makes them much more dangerous. The sting of a box jellyfish can kill you in less than 5 minutes. These jellyfish can swim, unlike other jellyfish that float with the currents. Another feature that distinguishes them from other jellyfish is their vision. They have clusters of eyes on either side of their box-shaped body. These abilities lend credence to the theory that box-shaped jellyfish can search for prey rather than waiting for food to collide with their tentacles. With that being said, here we come to the end of our video. I hope you liked this video. If so, then don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you never miss any video. See you in the next video. Till then, take care. Thanks for watching.